Hi everyone, Ann Butler here along with my creative business partner, Lisa Rojas, and our guest mixed media artist, Tracy Weinzeffel. I had to have her teach me how to say her name. <laughs> I've only known her for many years and was always afraid to say that name. <laughs> I know, right? right? Tracy W. works just fine. And that's what I sent Lisa. Hey, the interview this week is with... <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I never knew how to pronounce your last name either. So anytime that, you know, we were at a show or something, I always said Tracy W. if I was referring to, you know. Well, if it, makes, good ways. It, yeah. it, if it makes you feel better, uh, what we were just talking about, my last name means apple wine. So. Oh, hey. <laughs> There you uh, go. Uh, it's genetic. Be, what you know, could be better than that? <laughs> apple wine can be quite potent. Yes. Uh, actually, I don't really like it. When we went to Germany, I didn't like it. So we made it. And ooh, it was uh, like we make cranberry wine and grape wine from our grapes. Oh. We made apple wine. It was pretty much like vodka. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I tasted it uh, when we were in Germany and it, it, Zaffel Wein is on the menu and somebody saw my last name on the credit card and they said, you have to try it. I tried it. I wanted to be so polite. I was, my face was, it's delicious. Give yeah. me more. Yes. But I'm driving. Yeah. Uh, yeah there you go. That's easy. Yeah. Hi, Angie. So and we are here today to just let everybody know what Tracy does yeah. and how long she's been doing it. I mean, I think, I think <laughs> when I first met you, maybe 15 years ago at a show. Oh my God, how weird. I was eight years old. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> I, it's true. Um, hi, Jeannie. So, I mean, yeah, it's like, yeah, it, it's nice in this industry because you, you get to meet so many awesome people. Yeah. And I've moved around a lot. So <laughs> <laughs> I meant I've pivoted a lot. We all do. You have to. Yep. That's part right? of the, that's I mean, part of the, that's part of the, the industry. When you first start out, you design a project and you would mail it in. Yeah. Now you have yeah. to take the picture, you have to promote it, you, ha you have to do everything. Yeah, I like those days much better than now. Really? Oh, oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Just make the project, you know, I could spend, real, you know, time on making something beautiful and uh -huh. then plop it in the mail, let somebody else photograph it where I don't have to take a hundred. Yeah, pictures. that's true. I would say that, but I would... I don't know. I like it now. And by the way, like, I don't have to write up as much of my own stuff anymore because there are younger, more savvy people who do it. So, <laughs> but I do remember those days. And that is how I started the magazine industry where you used to get paid and in product. So yes, I, but remember you'd work on a project and then you'd have to be in your mind. Oh my God, I have to fit this in a box. So if something's sticking out or, yep. yes. or it's yes. breakable or like they would, I would get sent stuff from the, one of the companies I work for and I'm like, Oh my God, this is going to cost me a million dollars to send it back. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Well, right. Cause you have to scale things down or like for the shows, like I would bring a suitcase just with projects. Yes. And with, Vel with Velcro on the back of everything I did so that it would just stick to the wall. Yeah. I remember, okay, catch this, girls. My very first SCD show did not know anything about anything, you know, knew about CHA at the time or HIA at the time. I did my showcase, my designer showcase for the first time. It cost me over $200 to oh. ship it. Okay, I got to ask, you said what were the initials of that show? I, I was going to say, she doesn't know it. HIA. <laughs> HIA okay. was the one that, HIA is, no, H, yeah. It was HIA Industry Association. Right. Yeah, I was there for that. But what was the next one? SCD oh. was Society of Creative Designers. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. It sounded something different. <laughs> so I was like, what yeah, no, no. That? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. My humor is like a probably an 11 to 12 year old boy. So I love it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I love it. Because I started going to some of the shows back when it was in Las Vegas and it was before it was HIA. So it was something. Okay, good. And she, uh, there's nobody ever going to listen to this again, but my humor <laughs> is really bad. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm sorry, Lisa. I would not be promoting that I was going to that trade show. Uh, this, this, this way, they're getting to know the yeah, other the S- side of Tracy. Yeah, the STD. No, not STD. <laughs> SCD. Got it. Really? Okay. <laughs> you know, Thank you're you. the only one that has ever heard that from that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You know, yeah. <laughs> like, and and this isn't even after show hours oh sorry i oh am sober it's only new it's only noon <laughs> so yeah. this is tea i promise <laughs> yes yes well um hi penny sylvia rebecca valerie yeah hi. Hi, thanks hi, for joining us so we have just been chit-chatting a little first off i want to <laughs> Um, Tracy, to tell us how she got started in the industry. Oh, there you go. Um, Okay, uh, this goes back to when my son was three and he's turning 26. And no, I didn't have him when I was young, so I'm that old. Um, I started going to my first, oh, I don't even know. I went to a show, uh, I was a painter when I was young. But my dad said, get a degree you could fall back on. So Mm -hmm. I have two degrees. One is in building construction management and the other is in finance, Um, which, by the way, I'm so thankful that that worked out. Um, But one day when I had three year old and then I had twins, I discovered scrapbooking and I used to paint everything on the face of the planet that entered my home. So um, I started submitting my stuff to various magazines. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. Um, I quit my job because I got pregnant with twins and turned in the size of a house. And it was small to get into uh, construction projects. (laughs) Back in the day, I was like the only girl. And I would turn around. I'd turn around and I'd be all baby. And the guys would be like, whoa. And I'm like, okay, (laughs) thank you for body. Body shaming wasn't a thing and I didn't care. But yeah. uh, Back then, so I quit my job and I started just creating. It was a great way to pass time, um, raise my kids, be home with them. Uh, I have a degree in construction, built my own studio with my dad. Uh, Obviously, I seem to have a thing for paints. I've worked for paint companies um, as their education coordinator. And it just went from there. And then I started my own business in 2008, post-divorce. Uh, and no, I didn't get a divorce because I was crafting all the time, <laughs> but that helped. Uh, and, um, oh. the rest, uh, started my own business and I've run it since 2008 and two years ago, two years ago, maybe three years ago, I incorporated, I have people who work for me with me. I don't want to say for me. Well, and we help you. Run- yeah, run um, two art membership groups and uh, still travel around to the various trade shows. I don't think I've missed a trade show. Oh, I did two years when I was getting a divorce. Oh, well, yeah. Wah, wah. Um, but had to pick myself back off, uh, you know, brush myself off. And by the way, best thing I ever did. I mean, not getting a divorce, but starting my own business and working for myself and it's had its ups and downs. I've had business partners. I've had various things, uh, but now I am my own boss and I absolutely love it. And my dad was right. I fall back on that finance degree all the time. Yeah. Which is good. And I mean, it is good to have a backup, but it it's nice when you're able to live out your dream and your passion. Oh yeah. You know, well, and the irony is I just hired, my own full charge bookkeeper. So I don't have to do it anymore. 
Oh, nice. Yeah. I, so the irony is the skill set that I do have, I hired it out and I couldn't be more thrilled that I did that. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. I because mean, you know, to, nowadays, to, nowadays as an artist, you have to do everything. You've yeah. got, you know, we've talked about, <clears throat> excuse me, we've talked about this many of times where, you know, you, you do the project, then you have to write the instructions and you have to photograph it. Then you have to, you know, uh, send it somewhere and share it to the world. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And, and I hired like, that out too. I've held, I, I now realize all I, I came back and I said one day, all I want to do is paint. So I've made that my focus. And if I am paying my bills and doing all that other stuff, I get away from it. Also, I like social media, <laughs> but I dislike social media. And I it's also, a hate thing, I think, yeah, I yeah. don't like to be, um, how do I say this without offending anybody? I love to share what's going on in my world, but I don't like it to take away from what's going on in my world. And I have many a yep. friend, like people will go, you share a lot on Facebook. I'm like, well, I take a lot of pictures and a few videos, but for the most part, you're going to find me present with what's going on. And I do have friends that live and breathe every minute of their story, which I think is awesome. But yeah. I sometimes say to them, Hey, I'm part of your story and I want to talk to you in person. Like, yeah. yes, I know it's, yeah. but we had fun. Um, Anne and, uh, uh, Juliana, am I saying mm -hmm. her name right there? At, uh, NAMTA and that we was did. a great time. <laughs> great pictures. I saw them all. I haven't I even them. posted half of them yet. I mean, I, well, cause I came back and I got bronchitis. So oh, I have yeah. all these pictures that I still need to post that, um, but it was a great time. The shows are so special. I mean, you get to connect with companies we work with, which is great. In person is always better, but to connect with our friends <laughs> and to network with each other, that to me makes. Yeah. That's I, what know. I miss the most. That's what I miss the most is not going to the shows. I used to have such a great time at the shows. Yeah. And I used to tease Anne all the time because this is when she was first starting to get her products out there. And I used to tease her all the time and say, you know, I'm like the cheapest assistant that you could ever have <laughs> because I do everything for you. <laughs> And you don't pay me anything. Are you, you know what, Lisa? Um, in that case, we're hiring him. at Tracy Weinzeffel Studios. If that's the case, <laughs> I maybe shouldn't poach somebody from right here. Yeah, yeah. no, she gets paid now, so it's yeah. all good. <laughs> she gets paid now. Yes, she does. Yeah, it's so in the true. beginning. Well, it was just well, Lisa has been my best cheerleader. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, yes. yes, definitely. And I have somebody who is my assistant right hand. In fact, her name is Anne. And she has oh, been with me forever. And it's the same situation. I, yeah. There are days where I say, I'm not doing this. If one more person says I gained seven pounds on social media, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> uh, but she just says, keep going. And we keep going. Yeah. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> right. I mean... So you mentioned briefly that you um, have a couple groups. Do you want to show them some of your work? Oh, yeah. Sure. So I really oh, yeah. came from um, the world of mixed media. I do. I used to work for Deco Art. I used to work with Deco Art. So That's all, the all of you who blast me on social media for my wall of paint, uh, that was part of my job. And that's how I literally got noticed. Um, so uh, that whole display did not cost me a lot of money, pretty much just hanging them up. But um, I love to paint. I do art journal a lot. I mentioned I got divorced. I went through a very tough time that warranted where I just couldn't be walking around with a bunch of acrylic paints and, you know, uh, matte media and sitting in the doctor's office or trying to raise three kids by myself. So I picked up an art yeah. journal. 
I have a thousand of them. They're everywhere. They turn into bigger pieces. I now am commissioned to paint wine glasses and murals, but it all started from this little space. Uh, I guess I should wait. I got to pick the ones I like. Um, <laughs> So oh, yeah. I now primarily work in, and this is all dimensional. I primarily work in watercolors and acrylics. I so know. I teach people this. Uh, I teach people first off that I am not a fine artist. I mean, that's pretty evident. Uh, but I am a person who will teach you how to paint. If you're scared, you say it. I can't draw a stick figure. Uh, I make it fun. I try to not make it look like paint is drying because half the time... I love that. Is drying. That's beautiful. Um, and I do a free it's demo every Wednesday tonight, today at 5.30 p.m. on my Pacific Facebook page. So it's seven, seven, oh, Pacific time. time. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So it'd be 7.30 Central. <laughs> yeah. Lisa, where do you live? Up in the high desert in Victorville. Oh, so you're, I, yeah, I'm in San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. I go so down this is, I go down there every every uh, year to our beach house in Oceanside. Well, then you have to let me know. Not that I want an invite to your beach house, but how am I going to poach you if you don't invite me to the beach house? <laughs> and I've been trying to get an invite to the beach house for 20 oh, years. Oh, don't you even say that. I have invited you time and time again. But your family's always coming. Yeah, well. Yeah. We can get <laughs> I'm not going to know when I'm there. So that's, this is just a sample of what I do. And every Wednesday at 5.30 PM Pacific time, I'll be on, the, on my Facebook page and I paint for free. Uh, I answer questions. I talk about all the products I use, my favorite brushes, what watercolors. Um, I'm not a snob when it comes to supplies. No, I don't just use that acrylic paint. I work with, I, I am paint agnostic now. Um, but obviously I do have a great relationship, not willing to burn that one. And I love their products. So, yeah. uh, I also work for jelly arts. If you're familiar with mono printing, I am their artist coordinator, which I have been for four, four or five years. Okay. So, um, I absolutely love that company. Any one of the companies that I work with, I'm a dynasty brush brand specialist. I don't know. That's about oh my. It covers it. See, it's it's when you when you're with a company and you love their products. Yeah, you yeah. stick with them. I mean, yeah. well, it's, it's a collaboration. When they support yeah. you, you support them. It's it's uh, it's a two way street. Definitely. I have been very fortunate. I don't know. Um, I've been very fortunate with the companies. I am the kind of person who's not going to take a torch on my way out of any place. I was mentioning mm -hmm. my day job. Yeah, uh, I worked there in my 20s. I now work part time there in my 50s. That's uh, what I tell my children all the time. If you're moving on into a different chapter of your life, don't burn the pages from the previous chapter. Never. Never. Come back, bite you in the rear end. So yeah. you never know when it is going to come be back around. for both. Yes. yes. Yeah. So I absolutely say that. And I do say, um, I'm very honest with companies. Um, some, uh, For example, going to those trade shows, people will bring you their products. If it doesn't fit in my wheelhouse, I'm not looking for free product. I don't know where it would go. Right. Uh, and if it just isn't, I mean, not that I'm not willing to try new things, but I always tell the company, let me go buy it first. If it's something that I know, use, and love, I'll turn it over and tell people about it. But I don't... I don't represent anything that I don't know, use, or love. But if I right. love it, you'll know it. Yeah. That's that's pretty much how I, yeah, how I work, too. Yeah. I just have a thing about that because if somebody, somebody did hand me something at the trade show and I, the look on my face might have been like, oh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> Please take it. I was like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> so... Yeah. Of course, I'm going to try, but it's just not, you know, um, I think if somebody handed me a bunch of brown paints, I would have to tell them, I'm sorry, this is not for me. <laughs> so See, because most of the you brown have paints. everything in color, which I love so much. Yeah. You need sunglasses for me. I think uh, uh, if you look at my watercolor sets, everything is gone except for brown, white. <laughs> Those are still left. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, good. Sarah is saying, I love gel plates in my dynasty brushes. Yeah. Yep. And um, I know Angie said earlier, she was asked, saying she doesn't know anything about mixed media. So talk a little bit about mixed media because it's just putting mm -hmm. everything together. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's yeah. just using so many products in one thing, which is. Yeah, you guys didn't tell me to have samples, but I cleaned my studio this morning. I saw um, them back there perfectly. I know, I this literally cleaned up. Um, so for me, mixed media, you know, there's like no rules. Uh, yep. You can sneeze products onto a page at, or a wood surface and it'll come out beautiful. Uh, I try to teach, you know, color combinations, products that work together, the difference between drying and curing. I mean, definitely with my members, I do try to like give an ed educational point of view from things, but mm -hmm. it does not take uh, a skilled fine artist. You don't need to go to art school. You don't have to worry about the snobby people around who say, I'm so good at this. <laughs> uh, it's okay to just, um, the one thing that I do teach and everybody will hear it over and over, I have said this since I started uh, because I am a perfectionist and I have a bit of OCD, um, but <laughs> it's just a wall. piece of paper. <laughs> it is just a piece of paper. So if you start small and you start in something that's inexpensive and you promise to not tear it out and just learn from every page, it's just a piece of paper. I mean, now I look, I'm painting a mural for somebody and that's a little intimidating because you just go, oh, like this is a huge wall. They're going to be really upset if this doesn't turn out. Um, that's what they made primer for. So yes. if everything goes wrong, there is a way to fix everything. Uh, I just did this. Uh, I have a woodworking business as well. So I cut out wood items. So this happens to be three dimensional. I consider this mixed media. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, this that. was cut out as well. And I do things. Oh, I can show you. So I help people. If you don't know how to draw. That is this. I can show you how to do this. <laughs> Okay, Lisa's favorite is sunflowers. You have got her. <laughs> so that is one thing I did was I expanded my business two years ago and bought a commercial laser because I got sick of not, you know, I was sick of working on a 12 by 12 canvas. And so this, I cut out things like this and I always tell people, please color outside the lines. I just did this last, you know, Monday night. I was oh, trying to show people. Beautiful. You don't necessarily have to worry about knowing how to paint a sunflower. There you go. I so, love it. And tonight, I think, because we're talking about mixed media, normally on Wednesday nights, I do watercolors because they're quick, easy, and dry fast. But every third Wednesday, I, I know it's not the third Wednesday, every third Wednesday I do mixed media, but I was gone at a, tri uh, at a show yeah. at a conference. So I think tonight maybe I'll just do mixed media in my art journal, but I, it's for me, I don't work in oil based products. I don't yeah. know how to, the smell gives me a headache. I don't like yeah. to clean. Yeah. But pretty much you name it. And Wednesday nights are really driven by everybody who's viewing and watching. Because they comment um, and tell you which direction to go. Yeah, right? I say, what are we in the mood for? Mm -hmm. And now, uh, granted, I don't paint faces. They look spooky, horrible, and they will give you nightmares. I do landscapes. I'm inspired by nature, and flowers are the easiest thing to paint in the world, I think. Yeah. So if you're looking for somebody who's going to paint a real live picture or life picture of your dog, I would probably paints a rainbow dog <laughs> <laughs> so yeah yeah that's, that's, angie says that she uh, understands the concept of mixed media but every time i mix products and techniques my paper ends up like a hot mess but you just keep adding to it is what you do <laughs> until yeah. you're happy i'm one of the people years ago who would have taken that that journal and ripped out the pages I did not like. No. That's now not I right. would just keep them yeah. and paint over them. So I've always used my journals as a diary of source. I love to write, but I um, like I am worried 
that when I pass away, it would be like the bridges of Madison County when I tell my entire life story and my kids open that chest and realize I exposed every one of my thoughts about getting a divorce and dating. <laughs> so I decided to turn my journaling into something that maybe they could sell and not be embarrassed because mom was, you know, with the National Geographic. I, I'm kidding. I was not. Uh, but... I, I really turned my love for journaling into my meditation. Yeah. Um, so I feel like if I tear a page out of a book, I feel like if I tear a page out of a book, it's tearing a page. Although when I was in ninth grade, I did tear out the page in the book where my neighbor Robbie was my first kiss. So that's missing out of my diary, <laughs> out of my Snoopy diary. But even like back, this is, this book is probably a thousand years old. I don't, a thousand. Not really, years. but yes. <laughs> um, but I can tell you that I don't, I don't tear anything out. This was the day that Prince died. <laughs> um, I didn't know him or really have an over fixation with him. But like, this was my birthday one year and it was just kind of cruddy. And I just did that. And I was like, every time I look at it, though, it's still part of my life and it's part of my story. And even yep. the, uh, I'll show you. I mean, I probably wasn't going through the best time in my life when I painted. Uh, here, Where is it? I'm always makes I mean, maybe that was not the best time in my life. I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> but yeah. it's a part of my life. And right. I've. By the way, it's all mended. It's good to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, though, I mean, you, you can't have happiness without sadness. I mean, it. Oh, is that the rule? <laughs> they should yeah, have that is. If that, that's just all about karma. It you would know? be rare if somebody never had a rough day. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, ab absolutely. And then, you so know, I always say if you're going through a rough time in your life, Pick up an art journal. You don't, all you need, I mean, I say you can do stuff with five basic supplies. An art journal, yeah. uh, a Sharpie, ultra fine and fine, uh, basic watercolors, a brush, which usually comes in the watercolors, and some painter's tape because I like my nice clean edges, but you don't even need the painter's tape. Yeah. That's a good tip. Yeah, that's it. And okay. you could be in a doctor's office or in the car picking up your kids. I've never had a wasted moment. I do not mind a waiting room in a doctor's office. Yeah, that's but that's incredible, though, Tracy, that you have your life is, you know, and what a legacy you can leave for your kids and your grandkids. They're sitting on a gold mine. I you know, tell them. There I, is you never know. There is a crate. I'm not joking. There is a plastic bin in front of me because people ask, what do you do with your artwork? I donate it. If it's a good cause, I donate yeah. it. Otherwise, uh, I I put some of it on some shelves, like right here behind my studio. Nothing much. A little bit right here. Or it sits in a big, giant plastic box <laughs> and does nothing. So I will be possibly like Dr. Seuss. When he passed away, his artwork became a lot more valuable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you know, you're leaving your story for your kids and grandkids and great. That's what I'm talking about. Just to be able that they could just pick up, you know, one of your journals and go, wow, this is how mom was feeling on this, you know, particular day. That's Do you incredible. date your stuff? Pardon me? Do you, do you date things? Nah, I okay. didn't even start signing it until this year when I started selling it. And also when it started to be stolen, <laughs> when <laughs> China started yeah. to decide my artwork oh, yeah. looked great on, uh, yeah. They have so, everything. Also got a good lawyer, uh, a good lawyer, a good accountant, a good CPA, social media. But um, until my stuff really started getting, uh, and you know, do I go in, put my watermark and logo and everything? I should. I have somebody now who does it. But now I sign everything. Uh, and also, I'm proud of it. I think back in the day, it took me a long while to use the word artist. Somebody yeah. said, you're an artist when you sell your artwork. Well, my mom bought my artwork one year for a dollar. I was like, thanks, mom. I'm an artist. Uh, <laughs> You know, my dad and mom have like the wall of Tracy. So that is. Um, it's just a label. 
Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't care. And I don't need to be a fine artist. I don't care if you call me a crafter. I, I really don't. Some people care. are stuck on titles. You yeah, know, some people hate crafter. Yeah, some I'm turning fifty three next week. So, you know, I don't care. Anything. It's all the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, exactly. I'm not so crazy about the ones who say I gained weight on social media, but uh. if you meet me in real life, this happened at NAMTA. I stand up and people go, oh, you are so much taller in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I cannot believe this, the things that people write on social media. I don't pay attention to anything. That's negative because I don't want that in my in my world. And I just ignore it all. And yeah. I just you know, my my thing is, is if you can say it to my face, then we'll talk about it. Well, I think people can, but I you know, I really I don't really mind much of anything. And I've had people right in front of me say, like, I was demoing one time my painting for painters. They it was a certain group of painters. And a lady said, and she was talking to her friend, I would feel so bad if I left that kind of work for my kids to have to get rid of. And I was sitting there and I go, Woo. <laughs> goodness. I'm demoing right here. here. Yeah, look, wow. these things work. But now wow. I just don't take that to heart anymore because I'm not for everybody and nor is everybody for me. No, nope. right. I mean, so, no negativity. I just think. Well, don't sometimes say anything if you can't say something nice. I mean, you know. Yeah. You can think whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, but it is funny. I think as we get older, and I think sometimes women, yeah. I think women forget that people there should hear. be a filter, and we don't have the right to say everything we think. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. I still stand by the, if you can say it to my face, we'll talk about it. But if you're going to be on a computer where I don't know who you are or where you're from, nothing that you say is going to make any difference to me. I don't care. Yeah. So, poof. I'm not the same way. So, yeah. Um, I have to say hi to Beverly. Hi, Beverly. I know I said hi to Beverly. you're feeling better. And I've been thinking about you. Oh, I didn't know she was sick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Bev. We'll send pr some prayers. Yeah, healing prayers, Bev. Her and her daughter. Okay. So Angie said, I'm inspired to take the mixed media page she started at Bellicon and revisit it and add layers and work until I like it, even if it takes a while. You know, sometimes you need to walk away. Oh, man. You know, or like I have a bulletin board. Sometimes a Post it up there and I walk away and a week later, I'll bring it back. I have another tip. You got to work through the uglies. <laughs> uh, I myself had to work through the uglies, which would probably be from about kindergarten to about 12th grade. <laughs> After that, I got rid of the glasses, the braces, found my own way. But no, in artwork, you hit a point where... You're going to go, I, oh, this is great. I like it. I like it. Ugh, I hate it. Work through the I hate it and the uglies, and I promise you, you will not be sorry. There's a lesson in everything you're doing, but it's that it's that moment of I shouldn't have done that and that self-doubt that I just say, keep going, keep going, keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's yeah. been many times when I've been working on something, and I'll be working on it at night, and I'm I'm frustrated, and it's just not... I don't think it looks good. And I'll go, you know, okay, I'm done. And I just walk away from it, go to sleep. I'll wake up in the morning and I'll go, well, that's not near as bad as I thought it was last night. You know, so sometimes you have to get up and walk away and, yeah. and come back to it. And if yeah. I were to come back the next morning and it was as ugly as I thought it was, <laughs> then I would either pitch it or I would, you know, I would. That's why they made gesso. Yeah. Climb right over the top of it. That's true. I kind of wish they had yeah. just so in life where I could erase a year and be like, <laughs> oh, that didn't happen. <laughs> but the, oh. the cool part about just so is It'll you can all. have a page and you can put it on lightly so everything kind of peeks through. Whitewash. You still have all those colors and yeah. 
I mean, it just adds so much. So speaking of Anne, Anne is on. She just popped on. That is my assistant in life, uh, and she works for me. And so, uh, hi, um, Anne. Hi, hi Anne. Anne. Hey, Murray. Yep. Yes, oh, we're happy to have you. Yeah, that's so nice. I no, know. Um, Anne, and I, Anne and I have been friends for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> a really long time. It, it's like, yeah, well, it's yeah. 20 plus. It's like... Um, yeah. At the show last month, Eileen, well, Anna and I have been friends. Oh, it's just been too long, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but but that's what's good. You, oh. even though everybody's far away, you build those friendships. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And they help you in business. I have so many fellow artists that help me. Oh yes, you know, creative mm -hmm. people, and we've said this many times too. Creative people are just, they're just giving. Yeah, they're just a, 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 ah, I can't even think what I'm trying to say. You know, just say it for me, Anne. They're generous with their spirit. There you go. They're always you know, helping. Yeah. I always say it's 99.8%. Because <laughs> there's always that little. Yeah, you, you know, always everybody have. Everybody knows that little. That, but, yeah. you know. Even though we're in the same business, we aren't. Yeah, there's you room know? for everybody. No. I mean, we can help everybody because one manufacturer might love something I do and the next one's going to hate it, but I know he's going to like Tracy's, you know? Right. Well, the other thing is every manufacturer needs a, a the spice of life. So you, you can't just pick one artist. I mean, yeah. you have to have a variety of people. They do. Of talent. At the show, I actually had a manufacturer I work with and wanted me to do something next year. And I just looked and said, yeah, no, I'm not really that kind of artist, right? I'm <laughs> <laughs> but they saw something in you that maybe you are and you just well, you use the products in a different way. Right. They said, well, we want your style. You know, it's like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you know, I can't do this. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm always yeah, telling yeah, yeah, people yeah. that they ask me how to get started. How did you get started? Well, I floundered a lot and finding it, it took a long time to find the niche and something that speaks to me and tells my story. And now I, I, I try to stay in my lane, it doesn't mean that like I don't veer off and try something new, but it it means something to me, and I can stand behind what I'm saying and what I'm teaching, and not worry about trying to find the next best thing. Uh, if if, There's if anything, I'm brand loyal. Yeah, I, yeah. You know. Uh, also, I think it helps to have a business sense. You know, uh, I don't think sometimes as yeah. artists we realize. Well, you know, if you're all over the map using 87,000 different manufacturers products, they can't utilize that. Yeah. Because their their products have to be the feature. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody has competitors. So right. you got to think that way. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And Sarah yeah. says the collaboration between creators is fantastic. And it's true. Yeah. That is what it's all about in the givingness and like Tracy does her free Wednesday nights yep. unless she's traveling and Lisa and I we're live every Wednesday we do two Facebook lives oh shoot I'm part. sorry because it could be <laughs> no, no 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 ours are in the <laughs> ours nope. are at noon central time so 10 a.m your time okay and two o'clock central time or noon your time Okay, so you're fine. You can all join in tonight. <laughs> you can all join in. Yes. Yes, yes. definitely. Sorry, um, I didn't even think about that. No, no. no. That's what we're saying about Sharon, Tracy. Yeah. You know? And so I think it was about a year ago, I thought, and I asked Lisa, what do you think if we just interview somebody once a month? Because yeah. that way we're sharing what they do. And people can get to know them and maybe, you know, it, it helps everybody. But yep. also we have some of our followers who love the interviews the best. Oh, oh yeah. 
you know? Well, especially the beginning of this interview when I figured <laughs> out what Lisa's trick trail she was going to. <laughs> well, you know, we can be ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That is oh so God. funny. Oh, my gosh. I love that. That is too cool. I have a question for you. Did you work with Art Impressions at a show one year? I got to think about that. I probably did. Hold on. I mean, I could name the list of companies. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them I don't I want think to that's name. where. Um, oh, my God. I don't. Maybe. Yeah. The answer might be maybe. Yeah. I, I think well, maybe you were in the booth for a couple hours. I have a video. Oh, God. I think we did. I think we, or we were talking with you at a trade show, and I thought it was art impressions, but I can't remember. It was so long ago. Oh, that you and I videotaped? Yeah. Okay, it wasn't me then. Ooh. I know the company, and I've done some stuff with their I mean, you may have seen her, but we've never taped her. Oh, I I tried to tape her twice at this show, (laughs) but she was busy. You know... You don't want to ever interrupt when no. they're in the middle of something either. You know, you got to catch them when they're, you know. I've never been that busy. That was wonderful. I mean, okay, I've never. So maybe, you were at a, maybe you were at a booth next. Because I remember seeing and talking to you. Oh, well, of at course. This show. And sure, I thought I was it was at the there. Art Impressions booth. Maybe it was at another one. I don't know. But I remember we were chatting about something. Yeah, there's a list of manufacturers I have worked yeah. <laughs> For those of you no. that do not know, Tracy also has a line of rubber stamps. Oh, I do. What? I don't know of this. And, and die cuts. And <laughs> I don't know of this. And yeah. you didn't share with me. I don't have, well, I mean, here's the die cuts, but. Um, oh, cool. They're, they're not, a, <laughs> could have let me know. No, it's fine. You don't even have to show them. I just wanted Here's to tell them. The packaging. <laughs> <laughs> it's her lovely flowers and artwork. I and love it. it. <laughs> okay, how come I didn't know this? And you're holding out on me. Well, you know, I'm sorry. You know, I am stamping. I would be stamping the heck out of all of that stuff. You know that. They're, they're here. This is the. <laughs> sorry, this is my set. Yeah, I think there's 25 sets, and I think there's the die cuts were rather new this year. There's some, but these are the brand new ones. I'm sorry, I didn't it's, know it's, that. But... Um, Dare to be artsy. Yes, with Dare to be artsy. So I do have. Oh. To. She does. So if you guys Perfect. want to check that out. Yes. Nice. It's pretty sad that I didn't think to have all the new ones sitting here, but no, no, no. no. I, I didn't even mention it to you, but I know that you have stamps and I wanted people to be able to, I mean, if Thank somebody you. said something about my stamps right now, I don't have them in packages either. I have them in some of these little drawers back here because I use yeah. them all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I just, everything I sell is out in my shop. So I don't, yeah. And I just cleaned today. So <laughs> normally they would have been sitting. I literally had this thing covered. All of this was covered. Um, All of this was covered. So I wasn't prepared. I'm sorry. I really wanted it to look clean. No, it looks beautiful. I, yeah. I mean, and people love to see a beautiful studio too. Yeah. yeah that's why they don't look at mine. Cause I can't mine, work. I really I can't work in a cluttered space. I it's just a thing. <laughs> I, I get while well, I'm working, it can be because I'm working and I'm right. I have, but I'm still putting away the entire time because yeah. I don't want to spend three hours cleaning up afterwards. Yeah, I'm bad. I, 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 I need to, I always you know, clean up. My that clutter morning. will be just what I'm working on at the moment, it all right. gets put away. Yep. Yeah, that's how I am. And every time my project's done, all back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or I leave it in a box like this. Like, ignore those sunflowers. That was for something else. But, like, I will take the bin and all the supplies I use. So that way it can be written up and I know what I use. It's re- yes. right. It's ready for or a Facebook like because I have trays. I'll put yep, everything yeah. in the tray and then I have it ready. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Pre- no, I, I stole like that, that idea. <laughs> <off the bin. laughs> 
I stole that idea. Yeah, I've one. always had these shoe boxes and I put everything in there just so I can, and, and I, you know, I organize it that way. So I know when I have to put something online. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Sorry. Okay. Beverly said, it's so nice to meet you, Tracy. Looking forward to getting to know you better. better. So, oh, yes. you too, Beverly. It, it's yeah, it's nice. So join her Facebook tonight. And I did put the link in for her Facebook page. And I, I did put um, the link in for her website for those of you that want to check out all of her work. Because it is fabulous. You know, oh, you. it's it's nice to have... Um, <laughs> creative friends that are so talented i know right you know it is i i listen i couldn't be more i finally got to talk to ann i really haven't i i really you say hi i know, know i really hadn't done a lot and talked to a lot of designers and introduced me to people i really didn't i mean i knew eileen but i i don't know i guess i live in a rock you knew her but you felt like you didn't yeah, I mean, I've met her at various shows that we've been, did, um, done. Um, Juliana, the same way. I totally enjoyed meeting her. I mean, yeah. it was just a smaller group of designers, too, which I think made it more approachable for me. Because mm -hmm. uh, as much as I love people, I have a harder time walking into a room of professionals and knowing that I have to represent myself and turn off the 10-year-old boy sense of humor. So that's part of it as well. I just... It's harder for me to walk into a room full of designers. And in fact, I missed the designer thing that was yesterday too. So that, I don't know. I caught the last half because I was on a call with actually Sarah, who is watching um, about a collaboration. So, yeah. so, so her and I both missed the beginning of it. Oh. Yeah, I try to do the best I can, but uh, it's, it was really nice. I think for me this time, it was just a lot smaller and less intimidating. I was able, plus people were like saying hi. And I was like, oh, if they say hi, that is an invite to walk over and say hello. Okay. How are you? So seriously, Tracy's over here at this table. And I'm <laughs> over here with Juliana. And I knew she wanted to meet her. And I'm like, come over here. And she's like, <laughs> I'm like come over here. And she's like, <laughs> and, and Juliana goes, what's going on? I said, Tracy <laughs> wants to meet you. She said, I know Tracy, and she said, but you really, she doesn't know you. Yeah, so well, then, you know, a lot of times, though, at the know. shows, you know, especially if you're working them, you oh, know. Oh, no, this was after hours. Oh, this oh was, okay. Probably, this was probably <laughs> so she she was was cool beautiful. Yeah, and after hours. Pictures and yeah, we had fun. <laughs> and Juliana lives in California, too, so. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that wants to know. Oh, time and place for tonight. Oh, uh, no. Beverly, in my studio tonight at 530 in San Diego. If you could get here, you could just <laughs> stand, stand right next to me. I prefer to have guests in the studio. But if you can't get here, I'm online um, 530 p.m. on my studios page, Tracy Wines Apple Studios. I, I don't know if you get it, but my love language is sarcasm. And it's... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, Beverly's on her way. Okay, thank you. I will have tea or coffee or whatever you prefer. Wine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I could be there in about yeah, two and a half hours. I know. That's cool. And, and I didn't realize that in a heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. getting me out of my house and into a vehicle, that's a whole other story. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, so you can tune in and watch me. It's every Wednesday at 5.30. I don't, I think I only miss a Wednesday if uh, it's my birthday, which is on a Thursday, or if I'm traveling. Yeah. Is it, okay, so like I I put in your Facebook page, but that's just Tracy Winesapple. No, Tracy Winesapple Studios. Don't go to my personal page. You no, will not um, for Facebook. There. Yeah. So let me grab that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Now that I know I'm not competing with these ladies, I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah. If you're in the East Coast, it's 8.30 p.m. I'm sorry. I do have a day job normally, so I try to come home and breathe for five minutes. And tonight, I think I'll do mixed media just because we were talking about it so much, and I feel like doing it. 
Oh, that'll be cool. There you go. Oh, thank yep. you so much. Yep. Oh, you spelled it wrong. Oh, no, you didn't. It's, it's good. It's I was going to say, I copied it. I couldn't have spelled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's my, birthday's, my birthday's coming up, and I just got my ARP invitation and <laughs> uh, a reminder for my uh, uh, eye doctor appointment. Oh, and my mammogram so they oh, all have yeah. around on my birthday it's all the things yeah yeah so much fun being a woman you know <laughs> it is well oh, this has goodness. been wonderful it has thank now, you for inviting you me are, you of are course, amazing we love it um, for are, those of you that um, are new here or are watching on a replay we do do a giveaway every single week. Yes. And um, you just do um, hashtag Bella Crafts, like, comment, and share on this video. And we do have a winner from last week. We always wait a week because most of our views, of course, are on replay. Right. And we like to include everybody in the giveaways. So Lisa has the winner from last week. I do. I hope it's which me. is a fabulous um, prize from Thermoweb. Yeah, they're doing. Um, actually, they're given a choice. When I spoke to Dawn, she said, "You know, we can either do the um, Brutus Monroe butterfly set that I used in the demo last week, or a fifty dollars gift card from oh, Thermoweb." I know, so, right? Yeah, nice. I'd be buying nice every time. foil they had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I love their foil. Okay, so the winner is Christy Steinbeck. I don't know if she's in here. I don't think I've seen her in here today. <laughs> I don't think so either. Way to go, but, Christy. Yeah. So, so congratulations. congratulations. I will be in touch with you on what you need to do. Yes. So awesome. And um, we will do a winner for next week too it will be something from us so yeah not sure what it is yet but we'll figure it out yeah we always do yeah she likes to fly by the seat of her pants i'm not a good fly by the seat of her pants kind of gal i have yeah, yeah i mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i, I get way too flustered way too flustered can't do it yeah so all I, right, I think well, Tracy's kind of a fly by the seat of her pants too, you know. You get yeah. your stuff out and you just go. You just Yeah, it depends. Pray. But yeah, I prefer to do with the stuff live and I prefer to not prep and I don't go, this is what we're painting tonight. So tonight when you show up, there will be a white piece of paper between you and I, and I invite you to paint right with me. Yep. Yeah, see, um, I would be a wreck. <laughs> right, Lisa's prepping days in advance, and I'm yeah. like, I will prep to the point of I know what I'm making, and sometimes I have something done if it's something new. But um, yeah. But I didn't used to be that bad as I am now. I do it like this now, even more so because if I don't, I can't remember what I did. <laughs> You know, I'm at that point in my life where I can't remember what I did from one minute to the next. So I got to make sure. Well, and different, like different arts and what have you. Like I talk about art journaling and creating from the space you're in. If I walked up every week and said, okay, this is what we're doing. This was the space I was in. This we did live. Um, this was in the space I was two months ago or whatever. I did that. So I do try to uh, also, um, I'm a busy gal, so I don't have the prep time. Yeah. Yeah. Like pull everything out. I'll have something in mind and think, okay, like tonight, I mean, obviously my paints are pretty handy, but right. yeah. I do have stuff in mind. It's not like you'd watch me around scat, walk through the room and try to find Grabbing stuff. Things. Right, right, like, right. Huh. Yeah. Should, yeah. I, should I use a rubber stamp or should I use a die? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I, I so, have things prepared that way. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> we, you know, we we all have our different ways of working, and you know, it all works. So it does. It does. All right. So thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you, Tracy, for joining us today. You guys, make sure that you check out her Facebook Live tonight. It's yes. gonna be good. Five thirty Pacific time. 
Um, so 7.30 Central and 8.30 Eastern. Eastern. There you Thank go. Thank you guys for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Of course. Of course. We love, love it. your work. Yeah. I'll turn so, out and let you guys go. Okay. All right, so, you guys. So have a great week. Everybody have a great week and do what we always say to do. And that yes. is take a little time to craft because it's good for your soul. Yep, it is. It really Definitely. Is. All right. Thanks, take care. Everyone. We'll see you guys next week. Yes, Woo! we will be back next week with Gwen Studios. Yes. I've been, yep. I already yep. have my project planned. It's in my head. Yeah, mine is too. Good. So I'm kind of excited. So, we'll, yeah, we'll see. We're going to be okay. working with some really cute ribbon. Thanks, everyone. Take care, everybody. Bye.